Hello, I am David W. Parker, and this is Programming Today I Learned Algorithms. Today we're going to be looking at randomized quicksort, which is the next iteration of the quicksort algorithm. And then that's about it for this, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So the main difference is, before doing the quicksort algorithm between every time, we're going to randomly choose an element from the subarray of A to P to R. Uh, and by doing so, we're going to exchange A of R with the element chosen. And by doing so, it's going to be is equally likely to be any of the r minus p plus 1 elements in the subarray. And since we expect to split because of this, we're going to expect the split to be reasonably well balanced. So as we mentioned previously, if it was always the last one, it might need not be well balanced, especially if it's already a pre-assorted array or a reverse sorted array. And so therefore, the expected running time is O of n log n. Um, so that's basically it. So how does this work? In here, we basically replace the partition function with random bias partition, which we'll look at in a moment. And as you can see here, the results are still the exact same, same inputs as before. So just kind of show you uh, what's going on. So we're going to grab a randomized partition, and then we're going to run the quick sort as usual with each of these quick sorts, grabbing a randomized partition as well. Here in the partition, uh, which is used by the randomized partition. Everything is the exact same, so we're still choosing the last element to be the pivot. Last element, though, is what's going to be previously swapped. So here is the new function called randomized partition. It takes the array in P and R. This is before. We're going to choose an element between P and R, including R, to swap out and compute the subarray to grab from. So we're going to use the array.slice function to grab the subarray from the full array that's given in uh, JavaScript. And then we're going to grab a random element to swap out from the subarray. So we're going to grab a random element and get the index from the original array, which is the full array, and subsequently swap uh, array of R with the I element. As soon as we do so, then we're going to run the partition on this. And that's going to basically it. So it's kind of a simple way to improve the expected running time from um, to be O of n log n versus O of n squared. Uh, and that's basically it. Um, next time we'll be looking at counting sort and moving on. If you like what you saw today, please subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day.